1972, 14 Catholics were slaughtered. What did they do? They committed the hideous crime of walking down a road. My mother ran out onto the street and grabbed the neighbor's son out of the stampede. The entire time, a British soldier was holding an L1A1 to her head, yelling at her to get back. But she didn't. And he fired. We call that day Bloody Sunday. Oh, it's busy in time. I gotta go. Who's coming? My mom. You treat your mother right, Ryan? We've been separated since I was a baby. We only just found each other. But yeah, I treat her right. I know you wonder why I left. And each time I've come to visit you, I've wanted to tell you the whole story, but... Hey, tell me now. The 60s were a mixed up time. We were living in a cold water flat near the university. And while I did what wives did in those days, outside the streets were on fire with protests. Vietnam War? Yeah. I would carry you out into the crowd and listen to the speeches. And then one day something just clicked and I had to join. So I, I had to leave. Yeah, but, but why, didn't you, why didn't you take me with you? Well, because my friends fought for peace. We armed ourselves. We were militant. And someone got killed. Yeah. And I ran. And I kept running. Jesus. And so, now after 35 years, I've decided to stop the marathon. I'm going to turn myself in. But what'll happen? I don't know what'll happen to me. And I don't know if I'll go to prison. But I wanted to see you again and spend a few hours with you and get to know you a little before whatever happens does happen. No, 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 I, no, I, I can't lose you now. Not after all these years. Fuck that. Don't give yourself up. I have to, Ryan. I'm no good to you unless I'm true to who I am. I wasn't going to tell you this, at least not yet. What if I told you I can fix it so we can be together? What do you mean? A, a friend of mine is going to help me and Cyril escape. No, Ryan, don't do that. Why the fuck not? Because you'll have to spend the rest of your life doing what I've done, hiding and lying and living in fear and denying who you are. And that's a life without meaning. And a life without meaning is no life at all. Because it's over, O'Reilly. Mom. You called me Mom. <laughs> I love you, Ryan. I always have. I always will.